What is going on, my reefing fam? March here, Fragbox TV. Today, 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 today. First of all, welcome to the channel. If you're new, what up? This is a television show, and this is a store that specializes in saltwater corals. I'm looking at this hammer. Check this one out. This is a very cool branching hammer coral. So I think that's Euphelia paraancora. Don't quote me on that. That's the Latin name. Why am I doing a video on this today? You know, I could do a video on lots of corals. Actually, we have a nice selection of corals in right now. This is a recent shipment that just came in. I could do videos on torch. I could do videos on long tentacle plates or maybe beautiful open brains like this one. But we're doing today's video on this hammer coral because this piece, although it looks like a large sort of wild piece colony, this is actually grown here in the store and it came right out of here. Hold on, let me grab my camera lens. So from two to, hmm, this is a very healthy piece. You can see it's branching the way it grows out. This is just, oh, there's actually an Aptasia. Uh oh, look at that living in there. This is dying to get fragged. This is begging me to cut it up. So how many heads? I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, maybe 16. So it's a little bit bigger than the size of my hand and it's got this cool purple green splatter effect. So sometimes we call these splatter hammers or bicolor hammers. This is a very good uh, very good candidate for fragging just because the way he's separating, this would be super easy to cut. I could probably, yeah, actually, should I show you for the video, for the purpose of the video? I'm gonna just snap it with my finger. Oh, there we go, uh, homemade frags. Grab this, okay, do not frag corals with your fingers. I like to do stuff in the video like, um, what not to do. So that is not how you frag a coral, but I was just trying to show you how delicate the, um, or like how brittle the, the calcium structure is. Very, very easy to frag if you have some coral clippers. So what I would recommend, if you want to cut something like that at home and not do a dumb dumb like me, get your hands on some of these. I actually sell these here in the store. They're like 25 or 30 bucks, but they're just snips and they're really easy to get under the base and then snap off uh, the coral. You can cut any calcium structure with these. We just call them snippies here in the store. We have a few of them lying around. And very easy also to cut plugs. So if you ever find yourself wanting to cut the stem of your ceramic frag plug, we use that same tool to cut these. So it's much easier to glue a disc than it is a plug. So about six months from frag to colony, we get questions like this all the time. How fast do corals grow? Uh, we know we did a video on Hollywood Stunner. No, sorry, we did one on Kenya Tree. There's one on Hollywood Stunner that will come out soon. This one is on hammer coral. I think for the next one, I'm gonna do Montipora. Is your hammer coral gonna grow that fast? I, I can't say, but it's just to give you a rough idea from frag to colony, somewhere between six months and a year, I think is, is doable. The pH, let me tell you, is pretty high in these tanks. So we do keep our pH, um, it's around 8.1 at night and we're hitting around 8, uh, 8.4, 8.5 during the day. So it is quite high, pH does play a role in how the coral is able to calcify and grow and uptake and overall coral health. pH is, is quite important. Um, not so much the number, but more the stability. You don't want it to swing all that much. I'm not gonna talk too much about pH actually in this video. I'm just gonna tell you that in this system, we get very good coral growth and it was very high. Actually, I was just talking over this Ghani here. I wasn't even giving it any love. Amazing piece. I think that's about it for today's video. A little bit shorter. This tank, like I said, probably gonna get overhauled. Coral warfare, definitely, definitely. It's an issue with smaller tanks. As you can see here in the back, you see the bird's nest is getting stung by this red Diablo and these two acros are growing into each other. Like the tank looks great, but it's really just, just constant warfare. And I believe the Fusion 20, this tank here is discontinued. There's a new one coming out. So this might be a good time to take it down, set up something new. Ooh, exciting news. We actually have some really cool new aquariums coming very, very, very soon. It's actually gonna be our in-house brand, our new company of in-house aquariums that we're starting here. So uh, I'm not gonna talk too much about that, but cool new sizes for all-in-one nano reefs that are that you won't find anywhere else. Anyways, that's it for today's video. If you like the content, if you like the videos, if you like corals, if anything related to corals, give us a thumbs up. Yes, that tank has changed. I'll talk about that. I'm gonna block that. Don't look at that tank. I will talk about that one in another day, another video. Hit us up, subscribe, because we do a video like this every single day day of the week, seven days a week, almost every day of the week. We try, we try our best. What's going on here? Oh, the lights are changing on well, my handy Neptune. That's a good time to wrap it up. We'll see you guys back here tomorrow. Thanks for watching this episode of Fragbox TV.